Eddie and Jason, welcome back. Uh, if I can ask you, first of all, Eddie, this, this, this must be almost surreal for you. Uh, what's it been like this week? Yeah, it's been a, a difficult week, I think. You know, walking through those doors today, it felt like we'd never been away. Um, but a lot has changed at the football club. We just have to walk around, and we have this morning at the facilities. And um, big changes here, and, and all for the better in terms of infrastructure. So we, we've been really impressed. Were the negotiations difficult? Well, I wasn't really involved in the negotiations as such. You know, that it was between the two clubs, and I think it was. I think it was a difficult time for for both clubs. Really, um, we leave. You know, Burnley. Um, Hopefully, a better club for the, the spell that we've been in charge. You know, we did a lot of hard work there, and you know, the fantastic people at Burnley Football Club, and it's a very, very good club. And uh, it was sad to leave, but you know, coming here and coming back in a sense and seeing all the the people that we have today, I think from our perspective, you know, we just can't wait to get going. You cited family reasons. Do you think that the Burnley fans will understand? I hope so. I hope they do. I think it it was a very difficult decision, but one that. You know, I had, to, I had to make for my family. Um, you know, I wouldn't go into detail on those reasons, but it's been a difficult six months for me personally. Um, and I hope they understand. You know, I've been in football long enough to know that everyone will have a different opinion. Um, but now I just really want to focus on this job and and trying to move up the table. You, you obviously had a great time when you were here, but how concerned are you about picking up the pieces, picking up where you left off, in fact? Well, that's the challenge. I mean, I think. As I say, a lot's changed at the football club since we left. Um, and as I say, but behind the scenes, the football club now is in a lot stronger position. Obviously have a very good squad. Um, and the challenge is going to be to get that team now to be playing as a team and, and moving forward together. We really need everyone on side. We need the supporters to really get behind the team now and the club and, and hopefully we can move forward together. You obviously have a long-standing relationship with, with Harry Redknapp. But, uh, I think he's still a con consultant here. Will you be... Uh, in constant uh, in touch with him all the time. Uh, well, I haven't spoke to Harry in a while, so you know if Harry's around, then yeah, of course I'll speak to him and and pick his brains. Uh, but you know, me and JT have been a, a partnership now for a number of years, and you know, we won't change the way we work. We're really looking forward to getting started and and getting to know the players better. And uh, will you be an interested onlooker today? Well, obviously, you will. But will you find it easy uh, not having any responsibilities? Uh, no, I won't find it easy. Uh, definitely want to. Uh, you know, inspire the team hopefully to, to three points today. I think it's a, a really massive game, you know, for us, and we need to start climbing the table. So three points today would be a great help. Jay, is it a similar situation for you in terms of um, family reasons, obviously, with the wife and, and the kids and everything else? Well, obviously, I haven't been through what what Eddie's been through. He's been through a, a very difficult. 12 months uh, and you know obviously there's a, there's a lot going on and you know we are a team we, we stick together and you know I'm fully behind him so you know I mean, it's great to be back I think you know we come back here and just you know Tom Shannon's around the facilities today and, and the club's made huge strides from from when we left the guys are uh, you know the guys at the top the chairman and, and everybody have, have done a terrific terrific job to, to take this club forward and obviously you know that was one of the big attractions to come back as well the infrastructure that's now in place is a lot better than than what it was when we left and and it's certainly a club going in the right direction and you know we we're really looking forward to the challenge ahead and Ed, um, I'm not sure if you've had a chance yet to kind of get your head around things in terms of possibly who you might want to bring possibly from Burnley uh, John Dazelle obviously the name that the supporters are talking about no it's going to be me and me and Jace um we wanted to leave as much um, in place as Burnley as we can, really, in terms of their infrastructure. And I think it was important that we didn't um, rock the boat too much in terms of their staff. So it's, it's going to be me and Jace, um, and we're confident with added with the staff that are already here. I think there's really, as I say, great infrastructure in place, and I, I include staff in, in that. You know, we've already met the guys this morning. Seems like a really good team of people. Um, so it'll just be Jace and I working with those. Ed, what did you make of the squad you're inheriting here? A lot of change around in the players. Yeah, difficult to know, Ian, to be honest. I mean, there's a, a few players left from our from our time. Um, and we know those players really well, and it would be great to work with them again. But in terms of new players, we don't have, you know, huge knowledge on them. You know, we've been in a job ourselves, so we haven't 
watched uh, the team. So it's going to be a case of now watching DVDs, doing a lot of homework. Um, and we've already started that process uh, in terms of getting to know the squad that we have. But you know, I do think it's a, a good squad. Certainly got a lot of players to work and to choose from. So it's going to be a, a period now where we're going to have to see what we've got and then make decisions from there. Vastly different to last time when you were here and you had sort of three people on the bench and now you've got to leave out about 15 probably. Yeah, a different challenge. And I think that challenge, when you, when you have resources and funds behind you, the challenges are totally different to when you have nothing. Um, and in some senses, we've got to get our heads around that quickly. We are aware of the pitfalls that having those resources brings. Um, but I'm sure we can work under that environment, and we're looking forward to it because it would probably be the first time in our our career where we've had that. So it will be a good experience for us. Quite an upturn um, in expectations here as well. You're just hoping the supporters will give you enough time to sort things out. It's not always a quick fix. No, it's not a quick fix, and I think that's probably one of the key points the expectations here have, have gone through the roof compared to when we were last here and I think we really need the supporters behind the team no matter what you have behind you um, in terms of money the team the team is what brings success and that's where I say we've got to really unite the players together you've got to unite the club together really and it includes staff in that and the supporters are the last part but the most important part Can you tell us a bit about the talks around with the chairman and how, how things are going to work well, I think he's very much going to leave it to us to manage the team. Um, we're going to work very closely with him and with Tom. Um, I don't really know, again, too much of the infrastructure in terms of the structure of staff. So these are things that we all need to, to sit down and discuss. Um, but I can tell you that we're very much behind the chairman and his plans for this football club. I think the job that he's done here in, uh, in a short period of time, you know, just with us now walking around and seeing, seeing what's happened, I think it's been... Uh, a really, really good job, and I think it will benefit the club in the long term, which is always the main thing. Um, the club's on a really solid footing, and now it's up to us to try and get the team right.